is good guys, my brother Kitty we're back again. How's everybody doing on their end? Today, we're gonna check out a video called 10 Fake Masters Officially Getting Destroyed by Real Fighters. Fake MMA, fake fighters. Um, I see this kind of stuff a lot, and for someone who has trained in martial arts, um, you don't go out, and especially if you don't, you know you don't know it. You don't go out and, and start proclaiming that you're some kind of master and then because you're going to get called out on that. I mean, we see this stuff all the time, you know, and they, they talk about they can do this and do that and all this other stuff. It's 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 just baloney. It's bull and you're going to get caught. So when real fighters come and, and beat them up, you know, hey, I don't I don't feel no empathy for them and they get caught in their BS. This is what it is. So we put the headphones on. We're going to check this out. Um, you guys uh, enjoy the video. Thank you for hitting that play button as always. And uh, let's do this. Here we go. Um, now. Trend loops. Do you see a lot of martial That's arts Jen movies Lee. where they throw a That's person Jen. away yeah. with just a and, uh, slight touch? and sometimes without even touching? But all of this craziness is done in movies only. Some maniacs bring it to the next level, meaning they do it in the real world oh, and no. have real-time students. Oh, no, but since they no, don't have no. real skills, so they just fake it. I know this so guy. Let's start the list of fakers. Number 10, getting destroyed by a student. All of the above fakers were destroyed by real fighters, whether they were MMA or boxers, but this legendary master was knocked out by just a student. The match was in this large hall where this Baiji Kwan master challenged this MMA student to show off he's great. As the match started, the MMA student threw a series of punches at the faker, but the faker's mind was occupied by something else. He was busy making himself look awesome and fashioned like in the movies. The master didn't even try to block all the incoming strikes, he never thought what his students will think about him after getting beat up like this. Uh, yeah, I'm sure his kick his ass. A that, that's that's what he gets. His match. Kick his ass. Number nine, the Punisher. When some fighters just fight to bring the victory home, some fighters do it to teach a lesson. Let's take this clip as an example. Just not to get confused, the guy in white is the jujitsu partitioner, while the other is the trickster. The master had some kind of skills, but he was not good as the fighter, and the fighter was well aware of it. Despite the kicks and punches, the fighter easily takes him to the ground and starts punishing him. Then he grapples with him a little, while the master couldn't do anything but failed attempts to survive. But the fighter was just toying with him all the time. In this whole match, he had a lot of opportunities to knock out the master, but he was inspired by Marvel's Punisher and wanted to teach this man a real lesson that will haunt him throughout his life. Now, if that was Frank for real, he would have beat his the ass. Dumb Kung Fu Master. Here comes an amazing I know Kung about Fu this master. one. I know he about this. even know how to land a punch or counter it. He was, he's supposed to be As some Tai Chi. Starts, they brawl while the fighter successfully lands two quick hooks and drops him to the ground. On the second try, the master gets up like nothing has happened and gets ready for the fight. But then again, he gets destroyed by the fighter with a quick hook. While in the third try, his reputation gets destroyed by the real fighter. They both try to kick each other, but fail. Still, the fighter throws two punches to his face and completely knocks him out. It's Hilarious. Not, it's not funny, but it's like, yo. That much. It's such a shame. Beat them up. Like, if they're going to act stupid like this. And become popular faces of social media. Number 7. The Aged Master Today's kids might be intelligent, but these kids will always lack experience. Experience is something that can be achieved through practice and dedication. Here we have this aged kung fu master who looks a lot experienced, but what appears is not always the truth. Just look how he changes the stances like a pro fighter, but it is just appearance. At first, he tried to kick the MMA fighter, but fell in the ring. <laughs> then he starts kicking, punching the fighter, but he successfully dodges all of the attacks. Then, the fighter kicks in and throws a few punches here and there, 
but the master dodges some of them successfully. In the showdown, the fighter strikes a few punches hard and completely knocks out the master. Number 6. The Tai Chi Master Wait. To prove that this fake Tai Chi master is worth it, he challenged a Mai Tai practitioner. Muay Tai, well you're driven. an asshole. You, the fighter first he's gonna lands a kick, light this but the dude fighter up. gets away with it. Then the fighter he's gonna light this him. dude up. The most hilarious and dumb part uh. of the fight is that all this time, the Tai Chi master was not trying to block the strikes, but was trying to catch the strikes out of thin air. But all this effort was not worth it. Soon he was taken to the ground. In the second round, the fake master successfully dodges upcoming strikes because he won't move his hands from the head. But the fighter catches up to him and delivers an <sighs> insane kick and knocks him on the ground. A step. Oh. Number 5. The $5,000 Challenge Here we have an amazing fight between a legitimate fake master versus an MMA fighter. To show Wait, is this the MMA fighter challenge the MMA that fighter actually goes around proving people wrong? Because there's an MMA fighter that was round, doing this. He was going around just tries to fighting, his attacks, but beating up as fake he masters. He's fake. He jumps on him. On the second try, he immediately delivers a series of punches and kicks to his face and knocks him <gasps> on the ground. Uh -oh. At the end of the match, he was not even embarrassed in front of his students, but also had to give the MMA fighter a large sum of money. Number 4. Another Cool Trickster Here we have another trickster trying to be awesome and cool in front of his students. He went to an MMA gym and challenged Morrison Butler, an MMA fighter. As the match started, the fighter delivered some low kicks, but just like the others, he was so spent on show-off in the fight. Soon they grapple, and the fighter lands him on the ground, delivering numerous punches to his face, teaching him a hard lesson. I don't know what was the master even thinking. He started the fight, he wanted to teach him a lesson, but he didn't even land a single hook. Stupid. The background story behind this fight was that he was offended by this MMA fighter after his student lost the match thanks to his bad advice. Number 3. One of the Best Wing Chun Master There are very there few MMA fighters who are on the verge of exposing these fake this is masters. Him. One of them is Xuxa Dong, who recently visited China to clear it from all the fakers. The match was between Xuxa Dong and a reputable Chinese Wing Chun master. The fake master was so furious in knocking him out, but all of the efforts were unsuccessful as the MMA fighter was holding back. On the first go, the master was furious to knock out the opponent. While on the second go, the fighter came into action and delivered numerous punches and kicks to his face. Soon, he was knocked out by the MMA look at, fighter. Look at this. Just look at, look at the easy win of the look fighter. At this. It made me believe that most of look the Wing Chun masters this. are legitimately fake because this guy was one of the most famous Wing Chun masters. It's, well, he's. He, never mind. Number two, another victory for Xu Dong. The next brawl is yeah, between Xu so Dong he, he and went the legitimately master. He's trying to, to get prove his hands everybody. on a victory so that he can prove that he is a real master. At the start of the match, the fighter wasn't even defending himself, while the master saw a great opportunity to win over. There was a time in the match where Xuxa Dunk even let him punch him in the face, but he soon got bored of the fight and knocked him out of the ring with just a single kick to his head. Xu is doing an amazing job in kicking these fakers who fool their students. Number 1. Clown Master of All Time What is this? Now is the show time for one of the most underrated macho clowns getting beat up by a real fighter. This macho man is going to fight against this feverish boxer, but the boxer will only be using his right hand to do all the chores. He's fighting this dude with one hand? starts with the counter punching and blocking. At this point, both of them look furious and are ready to take each other. But Macho's breakneck is nothing compared to this legendary fighter. And finally, the match ends with a quick He's right hook fighting. to his jaw. Oh! I wonder how he was able to defend himself One with a single hand. It takes effort and skills. What kind of competition is it anyway? The Macho Man with the full strength and no limits, while the boxer restricted to use his one hand? 
But this fight shows that no matter how much you fake it, you are never going to make it. He was going like Martial this art at is one not point. something that can be faked. At some point in your life, you'll be forced to put your skills on the platter. This was all of the fake clowns who only teach to earn money and are never engaged in real fights. Now don't forget to mention your thoughts about these fake macho men in the comment section down below. If you adored our video, press the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Kindly share this video with your friends and family to keep up with the trend. All right, guys. Look, don't be like these clowns because you're going to... You do stuff like this and you proclaim that you're some kind of this and that. And next thing you know, you somebody's going to call you bluff. And there's a lot of they they didn't show a lot, but there's a couple that actually think they 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 have this mystical chi and they could just knock somebody out. And I've seen stuff like that like guy comes in and he just and they I and they fall out. I'm like what what is this? Um but you know, don't do this stuff. Because somebody's going to call you out. I'm like, okay, let's see how good you are. And you'll end up like these fools. Like I said, there was that. And they showed the dude that I was talking about. The dude that was going around. He was exposing. He was an MMA fighter. But he was exposing a lot of these fakes. Now, a lot of people were giving him criticism for it too. And saying like, how can you beat up some of these older men that are old enough to be your your grandfather and stuff. But, but it in some cases i can agree with what they were saying but i also would like but they're they're faking that they're masters and they're out there teaching teaching once again teaching people supposedly what they know they're not passing knowledge they're 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 falsifying it and and in doing so what happens when if one of their students gets in a situation where they have to use their techniques and they get hurt and they're going to come back to that master or sifu and be like I, what happened you would i thought you would you taught me how to it didn't work i nearly died you see where i'm coming up with that so yeah don't fool yourself in thinking that kind of stuff like i said tai chi is great for health benefits and things like that and it does have remnants of martial arts in it but don't fool yourself in thinking that it it is a means of blocking without blocking and all this other stuff i've taken tai chi classes once i took it once um i took it once at uh an old job i used to work at because there was somebody in the building uh, where i worked that used to teach it so i used to i i would ask him could he give me a little lessons and it was great it, it felt good it was just got me really feeling the, the health it was health benefits it's great but outside of that you know don't do this kind of stuff this is this is seriously going to get you in trouble and karma can be a bitch actions consequences have actions especially and you saw it here today just saying, guys. Now, don't forget, guys, to uh, like and leave your comments down below. Don't forget to uh, share the video. And don't forget, guys, I have the Patreon up. And um, don't feel free to go out check out the Patreon. Merchandise in the new store in the store is there. And always, um, new merch is coming. Um, I've been held up on merch. I, I keep saying, I kept telling guys merch, new merch was coming to the store. Uh, I'm I but things got held up and certain things that I wanted to do for the store just got held up uh, New shirt designs and everything like that, but there is I promise you they are coming soon But in the meantime, there are still merches there in the store that you should check out um, Things like that patreon is up feel free to join the patreon um, as well and uh, But outside of that guys Y'all know the slogan, my brother and kid, peace, we'll love, stay tuned.